What's up guys, I'm Nico of CamCrunch and today I'm going to teach you guys the difference between vibrance and saturation in Adobe Lightroom. Now they do a very similar thing but they do have their differences and I will demonstrate that for you today. Now let's start off with saturation and saturation is a setting that increases or decreases the saturation of your entire image. So when you boost the saturation up like I'm going to do now, I'm going to move the tab to the right it boosts the saturation of the entire image. Every single thing in the image will be more saturated as I move it up. And as you can see at plus 100, the image is extremely saturated. All of it is extremely saturated. It also works the same going downward. So if we move it down to negative 100, we desaturate everything in the image. And when you get to negative 100, you get a completely black and white or grayscale image. That's because we've taken the saturation of every single thing in the image down to negative 100. Now, vibrance also affects the saturation of the image, but it's a little bit smarter in that it only affects the saturation of the areas that aren't as saturated as others. So it affects the muted colors and makes them more saturated. So let's move the vibrance tab up a little bit and let's move it slowly to plus 100. And as you can see, the change isn't as drastic as the saturation tab. And once we move it to all the way to plus 100, the color isn't as saturated as it was when we boosted our saturation to plus 100. So let's look at the saturation again at plus 100. As you can see, it's very, very yellow. Whereas the vibrance is very yellow, but it's definitely not as saturated as the saturation tab. So let's bring that back down to zero. And now we're going to bring the vibrance uh, tab all the way down to negative 100. And you can see that it doesn't actually go to a completely black and white or grayscale image. There's still a little bit color left in it. So that's really the difference between saturation and vibrance. With saturation, you are in affecting the entire image by increasing or decreasing the saturation, while with vibrance, you are actually only affecting the areas that need that additional saturation or that need that uh, less saturation. So you don't affect the entire image. It's, not, it's a non-linear adjustment that only affects what needs to be affected. Now, a thing that I like to do when I edit my pictures is, well, I'm going to go through the different settings of the image first. I'm going to add a, li a little bit more black and a little bit more contrast up here just to give it a little kick. I'm going to decrease the exposure just a little bit. And what I like doing with my vibrance and my saturation is I usually like increasing my vibrance and decreasing my saturation sl slightly. And I think that gives a really pleasant look and it works for most of the pictures that I want to edit. Uh, it sort of balances the look out and gives it a pleasing look. But that's just a little uh, tip on the side for you to use or not use depending on if you want to. So that's it guys. That's the difference between vibrance and saturation in Adobe Lightroom. Like always, if this tutorial helped, please like the video, favorite the video, uh, share the video with others, subscribe if you haven't yet. Like the Facebook fan page, uh, follow me on Twitter and all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.